Everyone and their mothers got their hands on these babies. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fastest selling video games of all time. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin off channel, Mojo Plays, for in depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we're looking at the games which broke records and became the fastest selling games of all time, for their time, of course. Please note that many companies are kind of cagey with their sales records, so we're doing the best we can with the data available to us. Number 10, Halo 2. The first Halo was one of those monumental releases, the kind that changes the face of gaming forever and kickstarts a big old franchise. Naturally, anticipation was through the roof for Halo 2 then, despite it having a very troubled production. A record-breaking 1.5 million copies had been sold through pre-orders alone, so they were off to a good start even before the release date. Halo 2 finally dropped on November 9th, 2004, to much fanfare and media attention, selling 2.4 million copies and earning $125 million in 24 hours, way above Microsoft's projection of $100 million. It would go on to clear more than 8 million copies, making it the original Xbox's most successful title. Number 9, Grand Theft Auto 4. Stay very calm, buddy. I'll catch you, you Like Halo 2, hype abounded for Grand Theft Auto 4. It was following three basic masterpieces, and it was the first game on the next generation of hardware, complete with realistic looking graphics and a detailed world the likes of which had not been seen before. And to say it performed well would be a massive understatement. Within just 24 hours, the game had sold 3.5 million copies, generating $310 million. Within one week, it had made $500 million, shattering sales expectations. These accomplishments earned it three world records, the highest grossing video game in 24 hours, the fastest selling video game in 24 hours, and the highest revenue generated by an entertainment product in 24 hours. Get an ass on Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! Number eight, Pokemon X and Y. Bond with your Pokemon. The first Pokemon game was released in Japan in 1996 and in North America in September of 1998. And in 2013, 15 years after their initial North American release, the series was still going strong and breaking records. That's just the power of these little pocket monsters. One and a quarter million units were pre-ordered in Japan, the most for a 3DS game in Japan's history. To make those numbers even more impressive, the game sold over 4 million units in its first weekend alone, making it the fastest selling 3DS title, beating Black and White 2's initial sales by 70%. Number 7, Halo 3. Halo 2 sold extremely well, and it basically helped redefine the possibilities of online play. So, of course, its sequel was going to make Big Bang 2, right? Over 1 million copies were pre-ordered in North America, and it grossed roughly 170 million in its first 24 hours, beating Halo 2 by 45 million. Four months earlier, the movie Spider-Man 3 had shattered opening weekend records with a $151 million take. Halo 3 beat that record in just 24 hours. Granted, video games are much more expensive than movies, but wow. Two months after release, it had sold 5 million copies, making it the best-selling game of the year, despite being an Xbox 360 exclusive which was released in September, hence very late in the year. Number 6, Diablo 3. A new Blizzard product? Hell yeah, sign, well, basically everyone up. Diablo 3 was breaking records even before its official release, as it was reported that it had become the most pre-ordered PC title on Amazon. And it continued to break records after its release too. Activision Blizzard noted that Diablo 3 had become the best-selling day one PC release of all time, selling 3.5 million units. And when they included the World of Warcraft annual pass, the number jumped to 4.7. It went on to sell 6.3 million after its first week. And then Era 37 happened and the internet went ballistic. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Number 5, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh -oh. 
the Black Ops series seems to be the saving grace of the Call of Duty franchise. While modern, non-Black Ops games like Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare have kinda stumbled, Black Ops 3 shot into the stratosphere. Coming off the heels of the disappointing Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 shattered expectations by grossing $550 million in its first three days. And as Activision CEO Eric Hirschberg declared, the quote, engagement per player was the highest in Call of Duty history. It seems as if everyone can't get enough of their Black Ops, despite hesitance and fatigue surrounding the Call of Duty brand. Strange. How far can we push technology? I could not foresee this thing happening to you. Number 4. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim November 2011 was a stacked month for gaming, and record-breaking too. Modern Warfare 3 was released on November 8th, and Skyrim followed only three days later. You'd think this would create a problem, but it seemed as if all gamers had a little bit of extra cash that month. Skyrim bested Modern Warfare 3 on PC, with over 230,000 concurrent players on Steam, well over Modern Warfare 3's 78,000. By the following month, 10 million copies had been shipped to retailers, generating a revenue of $620 million and becoming Steam's fastest selling game of all time. And this game is still generating money with the Special Edition, the VR Edition, and the Switch port. Jeez. Number 3. Destiny The Destiny series has certainly remained controversial ever since its release in September of 2014. The original Destiny was met with a surprisingly lukewarm response, and its sequel has been lambasted all across the internet for generally just kinda sucking. That said, gamers were once frothing at the mouth for Bungie's new IP. According to Activision, Destiny shipped $500 million worth of games in just 24 hours, claiming that it was the most successful original IP launch in gaming history. And while Activision seemed pleased with the outcome, they never revealed the actual amount of copies sold, leading some to ponder whether the game was actually a commercial failure. Number 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Despite coming out every single year like clockwork and the sales beginning to suffer, Call of Duty was still all the rage back in 2011, despite that initial tingle of franchise fatigue. Within its first 24 hours of release, the game sold 6.5 million copies in North America and Europe, equating to roughly 400 million in revenue. This was the third year in a row that Call of Duty had broken opening day records, with Modern Warfare 2 grossing 310 million and Black Ops grossing 360. It went on to gross 775 million after five days, beating all previous box office book and video game sales records. Shepard created a war, but only we knew the truth. Number one, Grand Theft Auto V. When it comes to video game sales, there is simply no competing with the monster that is GTA V. Within 24 hours, the game had made $800 million, a record-shattering amount, roughly equating to 11 million copies, and it just kept going. It took the game three days to make a billion, making it the fastest-selling entertainment product in history. And in only six weeks, it had shipped 29 million units to retailers, which was more than GTA IV's entire lifetime sales. Overall, it shattered expectations and ended up setting seven world records. We won't say never, but it's going to be extremely hard for another game to top this. Well, you know, aside from GTA 6. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.